Look up. I went to see Lockie again the other day. Hard to take, isn't it, to see him sitting there? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. I haven't actually been to see him. Oh. I just mean he was busy, you know, with work and Rachel and stuff like that. Yeah, sure. And he phoned again just before you came over. He was so sweet. You know, he hasn't seen Lockie since they're at uni together, but he's insisted on cancelling this dinner he's supposed to be going to tonight just so that he can go down and see. Oh, that was nice of him. Yeah, it certainly makes you realise who your true friends are, for sure. You know, there are some people who haven't even bothered to ask how Lockie is, let alone get off their bums to actually go and visit him. Oh, love, that's just the way some folks are. Yeah, it just surprises you who they are. Mm. Are you ready to order? A couple of minutes. Sure, no worries. Just take your time. Isn't there anything else you wanted to ask me? What? Like how lucky he is, for example. Um, how was he's, he's pretty unhappy, actually. He used to think he had quite a few friends around here, and, and now he's beginning to wonder. Well, I am planning to come down and see him, Chloe. I've just been very busy with, with work and with Rachel and things oh, like that. Of course, really... of course, yeah. And, and the hospital being so far away and all. I understand, really, I do. You know, what Chloe, is hard to understand, though, is how people like Lockie's cousin Michael can fly all the way down from Brisbane to see how he is. And how old patients can just turn up out of the blue to see how he's getting along. It's a bit funny, that, isn't it? I will come back for your order. Only if you've got nothing better to do. I wouldn't want to take up too much of your precious time, Jesse. I just didn't know what to say to her. And I can't tell her the real reason why I haven't been to see Lockie. What is the real reason? Well, I've, I've set out for the hospital a couple of times. But it's like... It's like Lockie's gone, there's a whole other person there, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to see a person I don't really know. And more to the point, what am I going to say to him? Oh, I don't think it matters what you say to him. The old being there, that's what he needs. Yeah, but he's going to see how I feel. And he's going to see the pity. Not if you don't let him. Look, Jesse, this is not about you and about how you feel. This is about friendship and remembering that it's not just the good times that makes it worthwhile. Have you seen my daughter? No, I haven't. I thought it was today she was coming to see, to visit me. Is it Sunday? Um, no, it's Wednesday. Of course, she's very busy. You know, with the shop. Can't always get away. No. no. Have you seen my daughter? She's coming to see me on Sunday. Of course, she's very busy. Can't always get away. She's got the shop. But she's coming to see me. Jimmy Hendrix poster back. Hey, Chloe. Hi. Just thought I'd pop round for a chat. Right. Hello. Chloe. Jesse. Work, work. King in a diner. Yeah, I know. I forgot to tell you. Sorry. So what are you drinking? It's fruit juice. Beer. I'm sorry. I thought it'd cheer him up, you know? You know, we used to sit around, we used to drink heaps of beer around, mate. Right? You know, setting the world to rights. And it took me so long to get the beer in these things. I hope now I'm going to tell sister on me. Just as long as you can be one. Sure, man. It's gone a bit flat, though. Doesn't matter. Cheers. Cheers. Big ears. 
she is. Where's... She's late. Chloe? Probably on her way. Still early. Why? Why what? Isn't she here? I expect she's got a lot to do. She should be here. I'm sure she'll turn up. You'd rather I call the nurse back? Where's Chloe? Would you be here by now? Other things. Well, she probably rang the ward and the sister told her what a foul mood you're in. Only teasing. Hey, I'm sorry, I'm late. I got held up. You talk late. Yes, I know, I'm sorry, but you won't believe the morning I've had. Me too. Why? What's happened? Waiting. Okay, babe. Hey, I had lots of housework to do. I'm sorry, and then you wouldn't believe Good it. Morning, Chloe. How are you, Diana? I'm very late. I was just explaining to Lockie. I'm glad. He's been very upset. Can I have a word, please? Well, I'm in trouble now. What can I do for you, Diana? Be a little more considerate of Lachlan for a start. Do you have any idea how upset he was when you weren't here? Yeah, about as upset as I was, I imagine. What, do you think I was deliberately late? I think that you were just not coping. We've been through this. I'm fine. In that case, I can only assume that you had better things to do. And if that's the case, I suggest you let Lockton know that he is not at the top of your list of priorities. Anything else? What plans have you made for tomorrow? I don't want his doubling up. Oh, um... I'd forgotten that it's his birthday, but I'll check with the doctors and I'll see what I can arrange. You want me to handle it? No, I'll be fine, thank you. Chloe, I am not having another go at you. I just do not want to see him as disappointed again as he was this morning. He has so little to look forward to at the moment. I'll try and get back tonight, but if I can't, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Uh, give me a ring to let me know what's happening if you need anything. Yeah, I will, thanks. Oh, are we talking yet? Would it help if I explained why I was late? The only reason I haven't yet is because I didn't want to sound like a total idiot in front of your mother. It does. I hate it. He was, he just got a little bit, um, there was just some spilt yogurt and, and, and he got really angry and threw the carton across the room. I'm sure he didn't mean it. He must be so frustrated. Yeah, I know. And compared to what he's going through, I've got no problems at all, right? I wouldn't say that. I'm just so tired, Alice. I don't know if I could do this anymore. Where's Olivia? Would you like me to take her home with me, hmm? That's right, Marilyn's got her today, thank you. You know, and she needs me just as much as Lucky does. I've just got to learn how to get on with it and just cope a little bit better. I think you're doing fine. I don't, I think I could do a lot better, and I will. 
I've just got to remember who's in hospital and who's not, that's all. Anyway, we'd better go. He, he's going to be on his way to physio. Just come and cheer from the sidelines. Hi, Cher. Hello. Hi. Hi. All right then, Lachlan. Time to get your feet wet. Sorry about that. Well, you shouldn't be the one apologising. You were the one who was rude. I know he's going through a very tough time at the moment, but it's nobody's fault. And it doesn't give him the right to treat people like that, especially not you. If it helps him get his frustration out, I don't mind, really. Well, then you should. You can't keep taking this all on yourself, Clark. You'll end up a nervous wreck. No, I'll be all right. I can handle it. Chloe... Lachlan has the whole hospital supporting him. There are people here that can help you too, I know there are. I think it's time you talk to somebody. I was thinking I might ask the doctors if I can take Mrs. home for his birthday tomorrow. Get everybody over. What do you think? Do you really think Lockie will be up to us? I don't just mean physically. Well, you know. I have to wait and see what the doctors say, of course. But if they say yes, what harm can it do? He can't be any more miserable than he is now. No, but his friends can. Especially if he treats them the way he just did me. Yeah, but maybe it's just his place that's getting him down. I know it's killing me. Well, if you do decide to go ahead, you know that Alf and I will do everything we can to help, don't you? Thank you. Don't be silly, that's what we hear. You take care. Um, Bye. ever seem to do is just burst into tears. That's normal. You're allowed to cry. No, it doesn't achieve anything. If it makes you feel better, it achieves a lot. No, not for Lockie and Olivia, it doesn't. There's a third party you're forgetting here. We're talking about you, Chloe. And whatever you feel about what's going on around you, whether it makes you angry, upset or frustrated, that's okay. It's all a part of dealing with the trauma you're going through. Who have you got supporting you? Have you got family and friends who can help out? Yeah, there's Irene and Alsa and Marilyn. I've been helping me with Olivia and I've been visiting Lockie. And have you spoken to them about how you feel? No. Why not? Well, because they've done enough already and I don't want to be any more of a burden. Well, if you need a shoulder, I'm available. I'm here to help you. No one's ever going to hear what you say in this room. when I keep doing this. Go with it. Don't apologise for it. What else bugs you about her? Well, the fact that everything has to be like a competition, you know, like, like who's going to be the best to look after Lockie? Mm -hmm. who, who do you think will? I don't know how anyone can ask a question like that. I think it's a very valid one. All right, well, look, I know that she has the money to look after him. No, uh, I wasn't asking from Lockie's point of view. There's more than one life involved here. This isn't just about him. This is also about you and your daughter. One of the things you're fighting for is to keep the three of you together as a family unit, right? But what if he can't get over this resentment he's displaying towards you at the moment? What if it continues or even gets worse? Do you think it will? It's a possibility. Look at it from his point of view. His mother's nurtured him from birth, dressed him, bathed him, toilet trained him. It's bearable for him that she has to go back to doing that again. 
but you're his mate. Oh, it's incredibly threatening to his sense of self to be this weak and vulnerable in front of you. That's what he's resenting. What you have to decide is whether you think Lockie's strong enough to get over this resentment. Because if he isn't, you might find you're fighting a battle to save a family unit that can never exist again. Because Lockie won't let her. How are the party preparations going? Oh, there's plenty of time for that, isn't there? Well, that, uh, that depends on what you've got planned for him. Um, are you going to cook for everybody here, or would you like me to organise something from the diner? Hmm? Could you? Would that be too much trouble? No, no, not at all. What time are you going to pick him up? I don't know. I left a message for the doctor, but he hasn't called me back yet. Are you sure he's allowed to come home? Oh. oh, sweetie, come on. Come on, sit down. Sit down here. Now, don't you worry. Don't you worry. We'll sort all of this out. Alistair, I just don't know what's wrong with me lately. Remember, none of this has to happen unless you want it to. He doesn't have to come home. You don't have to have a party here. No, I, I want him to have a party. You're really sure about that, huh? Yeah, he needs it. He needs it, really. All right. Then we'd better get organised, eh? What say you go off and get yourself dressed and then phone the doctor? I'll start tidying things up, huh? So, how do you feel about going home today? Is there a problem? What's it gonna be like? It will be tough. You're in a very protective environment here. Things might not be so predictable at home. Just don't expect too much of yourself. If you feel tired or have any other problems, just tell Chloe. The two of you are going to have to work through this. Hmm. We need... need... What do you need? Time together. How are you? Good. You? Good. Livia? She's wonderful. She's at home with Sally at the moment. And I brought Alf and Jess here to help me get you home nice and safely. Happy birthday. So you got a present already? Mum. Hmm, it's lovely. Mm. I bought you a present as well. Here, open it. I missed you last night. I really needed you to hold me last night. Is that okay? Yes. Oh. Ready to go? Let's do it. Should we throw streamers? Uh, yes. What, no, um, no. What, what does everybody else well, think? We should be normally would. Okay. Well, okay. Never mind the streamers. <laughs> what about Don and Irene?
Good to see you, mate. Welcome home. No place like it, eh, Lockie? Yeah. <laughs> Feels good, Lockie. <laughs> yeah. Good to have you, mate. Oh, good to have you home. Chloe, you must be very hard for her to stay so up when Lockie's spirits are so down. I thought he looked quite cheerful at the party. Oh, well, yes, on the outside he looked quite happy, but on the inside I don't think he's happy at all. I think he looked like someone who's very miserable just trying to look happy for the sake of all his friends. You know, Marilyn, sometimes I, I think I'm inclined to read too much into these things, but you could be right. Oh, I'll see you later, darling. Bye. <laughs> You know, that is the first time I've heard you laugh in quite a while. Yeah, well, I haven't had a lot of reason to lately. Yeah. But I think that's going to change now. Oh, yeah? Why's that? Oh, well, ever since Lockie's party, I just think he's being a lot more positive with things. Just getting quite depressed for a while there, but I think he's over that now. So, uh, that's a uh, lovely little jumpsuit you've got on Olivia, is it new? Don't you think Lockie's improving? I love them. I honestly don't know. Well, he is. I just don't think you should go getting your hopes up too much. It's going to be a really long, hard road ahead, you know. I know. But, Irene, I've just seen just a little bit of light up ahead. Please don't take that away from me. I love him. I'm sorry. I'm real glad he's getting better. Look out, here's trouble. Hello. Sarah told me that you've been practicing standing. Are you getting any better? Yeah. Yeah, she told me that you stood for a whole minute. Yeah. Hey, come on, a minute. It's good. It can seem like a long time sometimes. Is Diana coming today? No. <laughs> oh, poo, Missy, you pong. I'll do a da. Uh -uh. Hi, Lucky. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Hi, Imogen. How did the fittings go? Oh, it was fantastic. The bridesmaids' dresses are going to look so beautiful. Not as beautiful as me, of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, how are we doing? Um, yeah, it's a little bit too hard for me to tell, but we're making progress, right? Yes, of course. Lucky's doing very well. She has to say. He is, isn't he? Yes, of course. I thought we'd start working on some reading today. This is something you can help us with, Chloe. Why don't you tell me the days of the week? Monday. Tuesday. That's good. Keep going. Thursday. No. Monday. Tuesday. Let me give you some help. Where... Where Wednesday? That's great, Lucky. <laughs> Why don't we try something a bit harder? How about you tell me what you did today? Try and tell me in a sentence. Okay. Um... I went to... I went to... <sighs> you went to the physio, didn't you? Physio. <laughs> to physio. You know what? I think our time's just about up for today. No, okay. no, wait. Lucky, I'll come back to this tomorrow. Please. You've worked very hard today. Really hard. Here we go, at long last. Good say, you should have seen the length of the queue. They really have got to do something about the staffing problem. I want to take Lockie home. What? Now? Yep, now, for good. But, uh, love, the doctors haven't said anything about taking him home yet. He's not ready. I know, Irene, but if I could just get him out of this place, if I can get him into our own home, I just know that he will improve. I mean, you saw what he was like at the party. Oh, love, that was one afternoon, and you had all of us there helping you. Yeah, well, I'll get a nurse in. 
Look, he doesn't have to stay here, OK? He, he can have his physio, he can have his speech pathologist and his OT all at home. Chloe, love, you're not thinking straight. Lockie is going to need intensive professional care, and with all the will in the world, you can't give him that. I'm going to have to learn how to look after him properly one day, so why not begin now? Lucky, I want to talk to you about something. I think that you should come home with me. Now, now, today. Look, I, I know that you're miserable in here. Don't you think it would just be better if we could get you home and you could see your friends whenever you want and we could be alone together? Chloe, that's not possible. Look, I know it won't be easy, OK? I know, but... I mean, everyone in here is doing a great job, I know, but they just don't care, OK? They don't care about you the way that I do, and I know that if we could just get you home and if we worked hard enough, we could make you better. I, I don't want to make you do anything you don't want to do. I want to. 